All right, boys and girls, time to get out your calendars. Just like our word part powers, every time we do it, we get stronger and stronger. So I'm going to do the calendar with you today. But some of the days, I'll just tell you the information, and then I'll let you fill it in, just like we do in class. We don't always do calendar together. Okay, so counting by tens. First page. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136 is today. What does 136 look like? It's a 1, a 3, and a 6. Good job. Turn to 10 frames, counting by 10s again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, and then we see a top row full. How many are there if the top row is full? Five, so that's 135. And one more is 136. Tally marks. Counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Now we're on to this page, 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, and today is 136, so it will look like that. And now we'll turn to our April page. One, two, today's number is three. What was yesterday's number? Yesterday was two. Show me on your fingers, what will tomorrow's number be? You should be holding up four. Maybe you did two and two. Maybe you did three and one. Or maybe you did four and zero. Tomorrow's number is four. So today's Friday, April 3rd, 2020. What color do you think the thermometer is today? What's your prediction? I bet a lot of you got it. Take a look. Let's see. Can you see that? I think you can. There we go. It's all the way up to yellow today. Just like yesterday and the day before, three yellow days in a row. I need to go grab my yellow crayon. I'll do that when we're done. The color in both of all of these should be yellow. If you did the temperature and it was different at the time that you did it, that's fine. And today I don't see any clouds in the sky. It's a sunny day. It has been windy too lately. Have you noticed that? So I'm going to also mark one for windy. I put sunny and windy. And then the calendars are done, which means we're moving on to... Anybody have a guess? Estimation jar. Today I've put um, game chips in there. Sometimes people call like little round pieces chips. So that's what's in there today. Think about your estimate. Remember, it won't be a number bigger than 30. 30 is the biggest it will ever be. Take a look. What is your estimate? And now you answer. I estimate that there is, and then tell me your number. 
Okay, let's find out the actual number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, not quite thirty, it was one less than thirty. Today's number was twenty, whoa, twenty-nine, how do I write twenty-nine? Twenty-nine, it's a two and a nine. 29. Think about how many away were you? Your estimate, how many away was it from 29? I wonder what you'll count at your house today. If you have some of these at home, you could make a collection to count and then draw about in your notebook. So I was able to bring these cards home. So let's just go through and say how many you see. Three. How many are empty? Let's see, we've got five. Six, seven, so seven are empty, three are full, that shows seven and three makes 10. How many do you see? One, how many are empty? Nine, say it with me, one and nine make 10. How many do you see? Five, six, how many are empty? So six and four makes 10. How many do you see? Four, how many are empty? Five, six. Four and six make 10. How many do you see? Five, six, seven, eight. How many are empty? Two. So. Eight and two make 10. How many do you see? Nine. Now I'm gonna stop there. Some of you probably did something so smart and you imagined in your head, if there was one more here, it's 10. And if you take one away, it's nine. You could see nine very quickly. Nine and one makes 10. How many do you see? Five. How many empty? Five, say it with me, five and five makes 10. We have a few more. I see two, how many are empty? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two and eight makes 10. Ooh, how many do you see? 10, how many are empty? None are empty. So what number would that be? Zero. Say it with me. 10 and zero make 10. And here's our last card. How many do you see? Seven. You could do it quick like five, six, seven. How many are empty? Three. So that shows seven and three make 10. Okay, so now we will use these cards, but we're not going to be worried about making 10 we're gonna look at numbers that are bigger than 10. So on my dry erase board, I drew a 10 frame. It's all full, so how many green circles are there? 10. Now what if I did this? What if I had 10 and then three more? How many would that be? 10, 11, 12, 13, 10 and three makes 13. So I wanna show you something about how those teen numbers are made. 
So we had 10. And then how many did we have on this card? Three. So to make the number 13, like we counted, what happens is this three is going to come over and go right on top of the zero. So to make 13, it just scooches itself right over on top of the zero. 13. Okay, let's try another one. 10 and 1. How many is that all together? 11. So we had 10 and 1, and the 1 will scooch itself over on top of the 0, and then we'll have the number 11. There it goes. Good, let's do a couple more. We know we're starting over here with how many? 10. And now this time I'm adding six. What is 10 and six? It's 16, right. So I'll put the six here and then watch the six will scooch itself over on top of the zero and make 16. Okay, a couple more. How many are here? 10 and four. What is 10 and four? 14, right. So this time let's just imagine the four scooching itself over. 14 would be a one and a four because I see four over here. We're starting with how many? 10. And now I'm showing eight more. How many is that? 18. 10 and 8 makes 18. So we'll imagine the 8 scooching itself right on top of 0 and there's the number 18. All right, our next one. Ten and five. How many is that? Fifteen. Right, so how would I write fifteen? A one and a five. Very good, just like we saw five dots over here. Great, we just have a few more and you're on a roll now. Ten and two makes twelve. Ten, eleven, twelve. So how do I write twelve? A one and a two. Awesome. We have two more. Ten and seven makes seventeen. So how do I write seventeen? A one and a seven. Great. And our last one, we have ten and nine makes the number right, 19. So how do I write 19? A one and a nine. Brilliant. Well done, boys and girls. That's going to be the end of our math lesson today, but don't forget to do your counting collections at home and a page from your math packet and have a wonderful spring break. I miss all of you and think about you a lot. Take care.